I'm glad to see uh, Jerry didn't murder you or sell you into slavery. How was your trip? Don't be mad at me. Please. What am I don't supposed to say, you. Carly? I mean, you took off across the world with that guy. You didn't tell anybody where you were going. You didn't leave me away to reach you. I went to save Jax. I went to find my husband. Didn't do much good because we're probably not going to make it. I need to uh, see a doctor. I don't, I don't have an appointment. Well, we have quite a selection to choose from. Are you hurt, traumatized, or just need a regular run-of-the-mill physical? It's not run-of-the-mill. Well, at least not for me. Actually, my brother needs to be tested for any possible STDs. It seems that he's been sleeping with a promiscuous homicidal maniac. Isn't that right, brother? Grace Hall? Not that that should be a big surprise, because he sent Jax away so he could get on my good side. All right, let me, let me see if I can just guess what happened. Okay, Jax dropped out of sight. He was grabbed and held prisoner by some enemy of Jerry's. And considering the type of people Jerry deals with, this enemy was crazy as hell, right? Yeah, that and a sexual predator. Did someone hurt you? Yeah, well, not in the way you're thinking. Jax was held captive by Jerry's demented ex-girlfriend. They were spies together or something, and she was supposed to be dead. He was tortured into giving her up, and she was shot right in front of him. But surprise, surprise, she turned out to be very much alive and pretty ticked off that Jerry had betrayed her. So she decided to turn the tables on Jerry and make him watch why she killed Jax. Never simple, is it? So... I guess while she was waiting for Jerry to find Jack, she got a little bored and she slept with him. Why do you care if this woman slept with Jerry? I don't. I care that she slept with Jax. Yeah, my husband slept with another woman. Something I came to expect from Sonny. Not from Jax. Not in a million years. Excuse me, I need to speak with Mr. Jackson. And while you're doing that, I'll go find that specialist for you. I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. Jerry. I said all I want to say to you. Well, if it eases your mind on what and what Carl is, I think you have nothing to worry about. I'm fairly certain that Irina, may she rest in peace, was a carrier of nothing but concentrated rage. She was always very fastidious to a point. Is my brother still mad at me? Please don't remind me that we're family. It's an uncomfortable association. Since I just watched you murder the woman you claim to love. I did that to save your life, so don't expect me to apologize. I'd do it again. Is Jackson? If Mr. Jackson wanted you to know, he'd tell you. I told you to disappear. I meant it. I don't want you around me or my family. And when you find yourself in trouble again, you're on your own. I don't want to know about it, and I'm certainly not going to lift a finger to help you. I see. In other words, you're wishing me dead. You already are. The brother I loved, the man that I was willing to risk anything for, he's long gone. What's left is James Craig or Brosnan or whatever the hell you call yourself. I don't know you anymore, and I don't care to. When Arena held Jack's prisoner, she amused herself by having him beaten, which I'm sure was very horrible for him. So if I were a better person, I would be grateful that she moved on from torturing him to wanting to sleep with him. I mean, it's not like Jax was a willing participant at all. I mean, he was basically raped. Don't. Don't. Don't even look like that. It's not funny. Guys can be forced into it, sort of, especially when the woman in question is threatening to kill me and my children. So if Jax had to do that to keep himself alive until Jerry and I could get there, I... I'm going to have to find a way to deal with it and find a way to live with it, okay? And I will. What I can't get past is that he left me. I stood there and I begged him not to go and he left anyway. Yeah, I don't, I don't even know what, what to say yeah, at this point. <laughs> Join the club. I need you to listen to me for a sec, okay? We have bigger problems to deal with. 
Anthony's a... Emily. Yeah, sure. Um, I owe you an apology. Kind of a big apology. Not only for the uh, pain that my brother caused you and your family, but for me defending him. And for how long it took me to realize what a horrible person my brother is. Look, Jax, I'm always going to grieve for my father. I miss him every single day. And when I think about how cavalier Jerry was with his life, it makes me so angry that I don't even know what to do with it. But I've since come to believe that there's a slight possibility that Jerry isn't completely lost. That maybe there's a shred of good in him. Wow. I find that statement astonishing. Especially since you were one of the hostages that he terrorized in my hotel for 12 hours. And Alan's death is a direct result of Jerry's actions. Yeah, and Jerry also helped Carly find evidence that exonerated my brother. I don't understand it, but I have to be grateful for it, right? Oh, Emily, you, you know, you're a good person. Don't waste your time trying to find a redeeming quality in my brother because there isn't one. He helped Jason for his own sake. I'm guessing he wanted Jason to owe him. Yeah, okay, I agree with you. That might be true, but my brother's free. It'd be pretty hypocritical of me to complain. Well, then, you're a lot more forgiving than I am. You're disillusioned. You can say that. Look, I don't blame you, Jax. But if Jerry loves anyone, it's you. And if there's any chance of him turning his life around, it hinges on you. Well, then he's truly lost. Oh, so it's just that easy for you to wash your hands? Well, Jerry didn't give me a choice. Oh, God, Jax, there's always a choice as long as you don't box yourself into a position. Who knows? Who am I to say? And if you find a way to forgive Jerry, it might not only help him, it might help yourself. Dr. Quartermain, it's a hospital, not a coffee shop. Get back to work. Uh, yes, sir, uh, Dr. Ford. Um, I'll, I'll okay. see you later. Bye. Okay, look, if you're trying to tell me that I have to pack Michael Morgan up and go somewhere because we're in danger, you can forget it. Jax is never going to be okay with that. I don't know why I care, because I'm probably not right, going to be married to Jax. You can fix your problems with Jax or not. I really don't care, but I need you to hear what I'm telling you. Okay. You and the boys could be potential targets. Why? What's going on? Have you ever heard the name Anthony Zakara? It sounds familiar. Some guy from New York, yeah. I think, that I talked about him before. Yeah, some guy. But he's interested in making a move on poor Charles. Why do you think this? Well, because his attorney showed up out of nowhere. And you're never going to guess who that is. Who? Trevor Lansing. Rick Lansing's father. Yeah, and apparently he's involved with Kate Howard somehow. Sonny's new snobby girlfriend is doing Rick Lansing's father? What That's just great. Things are going to get ugly. And they could get ugly real quick, so I'm increasing your guards. I just want you to know that, and I am going to be around a lot more from now on. Okay. Take whatever precautions you feel necessary, but we both know who's really at risk here. It's Sonny. I don't mean from a bullet. Trevor Lansing wrecked his life before, and he's probably going to do it again.